chapter 3, Mishnah 5. The Mishnah continues where it la- left off in Mishnah 3, listing the Tamuras and offspring of Korbanas that may not be offered on the Mizbeach. The Tamura of a Bechor, firstborn in the Tamura of an animal Miser, and their offspring and the offspring of their offspring unt- of their offspring until the end of time. All of these are wholly like the original Bechor and Miser offerings, but they cannot be offered on the Mizbeach. Rather, they are left to grace until they become blemished, and they may then be slaughtered and eaten in their blemished state by the owners, without having to be sold. However, they are subject to the same rules that apply to blemished Bechor and Miser animals, which the Mishnah will now teach. The law for most blemished Korbanos is that they must be sold, redeemed, before they can be slaughtered and eaten. Selling the blemished animal removes its holiness and transfers the holiness to the money. The money is then used to buy another korban. The Bechor and Miser animals are treated differently in some respects. The Mishnah now lists three differences between a blemished Bechor, or Miser animal, and all other blemished korbanos. What is the difference between a blemished Bechor, or Miser animal, and all other blemished korbanos? The first difference. One difference is that all blemished korbanos may be sold in the regular meat market and be slaughtered in the regular meat market, and their meat may then be sold by being weighed against a litra weight except for the blemished Bechor and Meiser animals, which must be sold privately and not in the meat market without weighing the meat. Second difference. All blemished Korbanas are redeemed, sold, and their Tamuras are redeemed, except for the blemished Bechor and Meiser, which are not redeemed but simply slaughtered and eaten once they become blemished, as we learned above. The third difference. And all Korbanas are brought from outside the land of Israel and offered in the base of Mikdash, with the exception of the Bechor or Meiser animal neither of which should be brought from outside Eretz Yisrael to be offered. However, if a Bechor or Meister animal was brought from outside Eretz Yisrael, then if they are unblemished, they are offered on the Mizbeach. And if they are blemished, they are eaten in their blemished state by the owners. The Mishnah explains why Bechor and Meister animals are not brought from outside Eretz Yisrael, while other Korbanas are brought. Rabbi Shimon says, what is the reason for this? The reason is that the Bechor and Meister animals have a remedy for their holiness, even if they remain in their present place outside of Eretz Yisrael. They just need to develop, to develop a blemish, and they can then be slaughtered and eaten without being redeemed. But all other korbanas do not have a remedy for their holiness in their place, since even if they develop a blemish, they, can, they remain in their consecrated state and may not be slaughtered and eaten until they are redeemed. Once they are redeemed, the redemption money must be taken to Jerusalem and used to buy a replacement korban. Thus, at some point, a korban will have to be brought, either the original animal itself or a replacement animal, bought with the money received from redeeming the original one. We therefore prefer that it should be the original korban itself. For this reason, all korbanas other than Bechor and Meiser must be brought from outside Eretz Yisrael to Jerusalem and offered there.